Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I made a video, but today I'm gonna talk about why personality matters. As I said before, looks matter. Watch that video if you want. But personality does as well because without personality, there's no use in being in a relationship with that person. I mean, come on. <clears throat> I mean, for example, as a guy, right? I see that there are some girls that are 10 out of 10 fucking hot, right? But their personality is fucking crazy, okay? Do you want to be pussy whipped and have her grab you by your nuts, man? I sure as hell don't. You know, that's just, that's just disrespectful to yourself, man. And, you know, if they're not crazy, some of them use you for your money, use you for food, use you for to pay their rent. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that ever had that happen, but I know some guys that have. I had this one coworker, she was hot as fuck, okay? Probably like, yeah, like a 10 out of 10. And if she's not a 10 out of 10, she was like a nine out of 10. Fucking hot, right? But she used guys all the time, man. Used them for their money, used them for everything. You know, and this guy that she was smashing, right? Or like, they were dating, too. Like, they were boyfriend, girlfriend. But he was paying her rent. Paying her rent, man. Do you want to be pussy whipped? I sure as hell fucking don't. And the thing is, too, is that, you know... This goes same for women too. I see women that are dick whipped by these guys just because they look good, just because like whatever else, but their personality is horrible. And a lot of these dudes, they might not necessarily use her for her money, but they use her for sex. They cheat on her with other girls, you know, and all that type of stuff. But again, <laughs> They're attached because of looks. As I said before, looks do matter, but so does personality. Looks can make a person that's 10 out of 10 become a five out of, or personality can make someone that's a 10 out of 10 become a five out of 10 just because of how shitty they are as a person, okay? I mean, again, the personality is the movie. Think of it this way. When you date somebody, you're around them pretty much all the fucking time. This is a reason why I'm a free spirit, okay? And I don't want to date anybody. Free spirit as in my kind of excuses saying that I just want to have sex, okay? Which at least I'm willing to admit, right? But there's a lot of guys out there and there's a lot of girls out there that are like that and they get into these relationships and they use people for whatever it is that they want. And it's toxic as fuck. See, that being said, as an Asian guy, I've had a lot of girls that <laughs> have a little K-pop fetish. Easily, I could have used them and had sex with them and nothing else. But a lot of these girls, they want a relationship. They want a boyfriend. And the thing is, I'm not boyfriend material. I'm just smash and pass material. You know, I stay in my own fucking lane because I don't want to hurt them. I'm, I know that I'm an asshole. I know that I'm toxic as shit. And I straight up tell them, I just want to have sex. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't like the attachment of a relationship or anything else. Hey, maybe one day I'll change and find that person, but that's how I am. I just want, I just want to fuck girls. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't use people or fuck them over. Be very clear. Be very honest. <sighs> anyway, these same dudes that you that get used by 10 out of 10 girls to pay their rent and shit like that are probably the same guys that I mentioned before that pay for porn, pay for a prostitute, go to the strip club. Do you want to be one of those fuck-ass losers? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't want to be one of those fuck-ass losers. 
Come on, dude. You're fucking simping, bro. Throwing all your money like that? Except that in this case, this girl probably costs more than a prostitute. You have to be attached to one girl. And on top of that, too, her personality is shit. And again, that goes the same for women dating asshole guys. You know? I see it all the time. And here's another thing I heard, too. So my grandpa, I love him, but he's an asshole, okay? He is an asshole. <laughs> and he uses people. He's like me, but like 10 times worse and uses people, okay? At least I'm an asshole, I admit to it, and I don't use people, okay? When I was a kid, I remember my grandpa had married this one lady for one reason and one reason only, to use her for health insurance, okay? I don't remember what this lady looked like, but she wasn't even that good looking. And she was very, very, very into my grandpa and attached to him, okay? She is the definition of dick whipped, okay? Dick whipped. Anyway, yeah, my grandpa told me straight up he used her for her health insurance, dude. That is so fucked up. And to this day, since she passed away, he still gets benefits because he has a widow. You know how fucked up that is? Again, she was attracted to only his looks, and that was it. He even told me how he woke up to her sucking him off, and he just let her keep, keep doing it. I was like, Grandpa, why? Why, Gong Gong? Why did you do that? And he's like, because it felt good. So he was just using her this whole time. You know, don't let people do that. Do not let people do that to you because that is just disrespectful to yourself. Have some love, have some respect for yourself. Don't throw your money around just for one person because trust me, when it comes around and they dump you or they have no, they no longer have any use for you, it's over. You're going to break down. You're going to feel like shit. You know, I'm sure that there's people who have committed suicide over being dick whipped or being pussy whipped and then being thrown out like they're garbage. Don't. Do that to yourself, okay? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, sub, whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? You can do whatever you want. I don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> I'm a free-spirited prick, and at least I'll admit it. So, anyway, see you guys until next time.